this year has really just been a roller coaster. You know, it's been a lot of roller coaster of uh, events, emotions, and just uh, it, it's a place where you kind of find yourself. You find out who you are. You find out who you're going to be through adversity, through you know a lot of ups and downs. And uh, I definitely say that this year has taught me a lot. I'd definitely say a high of this whole roller coaster is being able to be with your family, you know, being able to be with your brothers, you know, the people who you're going to be with every single day. It's sometimes it's laughter, sometimes it's stone cold business, but, you know, those are the people you know, you just love to be around and, you know, you're going to be a part of for the rest of your life. Of course, you know, you hate losing games, but, you know, you just got to learn from those lessons, you know. Some of those losses has taught us a lot of things about ourselves, what we can do and what we can become. So I can definitely say all of the ups and downs have taught us things. You, know, you kind of have to fight for yourself and fight for the people who like kind of gotten you to the positions where you are. You know, you kind of got to remember who you are, who you're fighting for, and just kind of who you want to be. And being able to fight for your dreams is something you gotta you gotta lock in on for sure. <laughs>
Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice and Tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late. Because everybody is a therabody. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Try it first. Yeah. definitely a great feeling but it was kind of just it was just a great moment of living you know it was a great game it was a great atmosphere and just love being able to be there with my brothers and the Cameron crazies you know just being able to be in that atmosphere is something that you just can't dream of probing spinning into the paint scooped it up blocked by lively through the transition beep beep on mark mitchell swatted out of there lively got a piece to the left corner it goes and hits in a baseline drive blocked from behind get that out of there off the inbound cleveland drives by filipowski oh rejected by lively i definitely say physicality was one of the top things that was on the list of things to learn but there's various things you got physicality you got just the flow of the game you got you know, just valuing, valuing each possession and just being able to put your trust in your brothers and the people who are backing you up. Definitely took a couple games, but as soon as you start to realize that you need to emphasize physicality instead of trying to shy away from it, you start to find out uh, the, player you could, the player that you could become and the person you could be. Because you got to be able to be able to be hit so you can throw a punch yourself. So if you got to get hit, you got to throw one back. Top of the key, looks like he wants to drive. Oh, Lively picked his pocket. A hit ahead for Whitehead, two on one. Give it to Proctor, lay it up. Counted in a chance for three. Curl into the paint, he goes. Bounce pass, oh, what a find to Lively for a two-hand stop. Roach in the paint, lob it to Lively, and he knows what to do. They lob it up to Lively, catches underneath. Reverse dunk, big time off the left. Two left to right, leave it for Blakes. Black to Lively to rock the rim. Being able to just uh, block out the noise, block out all the craziness you hear outside of these buildings, outside of the people that you, you truly care about, always got something to say. But it's definitely something I've uh, I've learned since probably high school, and I think each and every one of us who's been through this process has also kind of learned it. Everyone's going to have their own opinions, but that doesn't mean you need to listen to them and take what they have to say to heart. That's something that Shire has also just helped us with. He's always, always telling us to trust your brothers, block out the noise. Don't be focused on them because they don't know what's working, what we are working on and how hard we're working in these walls and in these gyms. Three, good. Good. Way to move. Yes, give me another one. Four, last one. Last one. I know me and Mill just been in the gym. We've been working. We've just been trying to make yeah. my game better and just trying to learn from it, you know, being able to make sure. He's helped me with good. the physicality. He's helped last me with being able to uh, Throw the first punch instead of being hit first. He's helped me with my shot. He's helped me with multiple things all, all 
on and off the court. If it's not seven days a week, it's six days a week with one off day because he, he's telling me to get out of the gym because we're just, we, we had a point where if you're not in the gym, you're doing something wrong and you got to be able to be hungry to be able to be hungry enough to stay in the gym. Whips it inside for Filipowski, dumped it off for Young. What a catch in traffic, off the window, counted it a foul. Grandison wants to drive at the free throw line. Oh, nice pocket pass to Young to lay it in. Off the window, no. Young the offensive rebound. One dribble, back up for two. Off the inbound, it's Young spinning into the paint, and he got the roll. For Young, catches in a double team. One dribble, put it up and in. Ryan, shout out to Olhead. You know, he's just been able to be someone who can just lean on. He's always someone, you know, just critiquing your, critiquing your game, critiquing, you know, just little things that you should be able to know because he's been in the game. He's just such an experienced and smart player. Uh, it took a while for me to be able to guard him, but now, you know, we go back and forth and just giving each other trouble down in the post and out in the perimeter. You know, he's just a great overall player, and he's just a great person. Push it as fast as you can. It's two on one, and D-Live's goal right here. Come on, come back. You're not trying to make a stand here. You're faking at him, trying to make him hold up, let your teammate come back, and then play it out all the way until we finish the play. All right, finish the play all the way. Okay, here we go. I definitely say it's a relationship that we have with one another. Uh, I could trust him just to be able to tell me the truth. I could trust him to always have my back. I could trust him to, if I needed to tell him something about an off-court topic, I have his trust and he has my trust. I know I have, I have his back every step of the way and I know he has mine, so that's, all, that's one of the main reasons I came here. The screen set by Filipowski. Now Roach has it back for Tyrese on the left. Looking over the zone defense now for Iowa. It's Lively back out for Roach. Five to shoot. Penetrates, lobs it to Lively. And he rocks the rim. Back to the right, here's Proctor. Brady Dick there defensively. Surveys the defense. Lively sets the screen. Works his way to the right. Here comes a double team. A cross court feed for Mitchell. Back for Roach. Thought about a three. Crossed over on Wilson. Into the paint he goes. Off the window. No. Lively flushes it home. And the Blue Devils have the lead. When I was a kid, you know, I was really a swimmer. I was a swimmer. I played maybe football more than basketball, probably. But whenever I started to kind of, my mom kind of had me in an idea of a mindset of just being able to just stay in sports, you know, being able to make sure you're always active no matter if it's spring, summer, winter, or fall. So once I found out I was kind of taller than everybody and I kind of figured out, you know, I could kind of be good at this, I started to take it a little seriously. But I never realized how much of a, benefit my mom would be in my life when it came to the sport of basketball. She's always been able to be someone who I could ask about the right move, what I should have done in the situation, or just being able to critique there. But she's always been able to turn on a little switch of going between a coach and a mom and being able to just support me, always have my back, and just, she's just really who I play basketball for. She was definitely my coach, and uh, she's kicked me out of a gym before, you know? There's been times where I was uh, not doing my best, I was, you know, slacking off, and she just set an example, of made it, made me an example. Kicked me out of the gym, yelled at everybody. The day after that, I was running. I was definitely running a lot. So she's always just been like a tough love, just always has my best interests, and that's why I love my mom. Derek obviously is a, a great kid, but his mom sold us as much as anything. You know, once you talk to Kathy Drysdale, she's tough as it gets. Uh, she's allows you to coach her son at the highest level doesn't make excuses for him you know it's his biggest support uh, always his biggest cheerleader but also uh, their bond that they've had just with the adversity in their family uh, her battle with cancer uh, she's just an incredible woman and somebody that we've been really fortunate to get to know and uh, the longer the process went on with Derek of course we loved him always have but you know it's very easy to love Kathy and what she's all about so proud of both of them and Special to have Derek here and really special knowing what they've been through together and what he's been able to, uh, to accomplish. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. 
We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. down to both 68 64 starling at the buzzer for three it won't go and the blue devils get it done 68 to 64 the final score and how about john shire in his first season he goes to 13 and 0 at cameron indoor stadium that is the longest winning streak for any head coach in their first season in acc history on their home floor the response is what I'm proud of, and, and it takes a lot of emotion, a lot of energy and preparation to get ready for each game. And so when it doesn't go your way, like it did against uh, Miami, of course, but also the Virginia game, to bounce back on a short notice against a Notre Dame team who's very dangerous, and you know the way they shoot the three, they're, they're scary. And so to come out ready to play, ready to compete, I love that sign. I love what our, our group is made out of. And we just need to continue to learn and how to handle leads and how to execute down the stretch better. And But the, the response and the mentality was uh, really important. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Another play with the steal. He's in the open floor. He puts it up. Oh, it's a great follow in transition. No doubt about it. Lively to throw it down. Derek Lively running the floor. Followed up that play. Offensive rebound. Put back Deluxe. Mike Gray has seen enough. Timeout Notre Dame. A thunder dunk from Lively, and the lead is back to 10. Shot clock at five. Kolokowski down the boulevard. He's got the easy one. Thought about a three instead. He'll drop on Leshevsky. Step right by him. What a drive to lay it in. 20 for flip. The lead back to six. Jeremy Roach to the bucket. 10 on the timer. A crossover and a drive. All the way in. Off the window for two. Love that pass through action. And Notre Dame content to play it out here, Deb. Mitchell for three in the corner. He's got it! Bird Mitchell with a huge three! How about the lefty lining it up and knocking it down? How about Mitchell hitting the biggest three, I'm guessing, of his Blue Devil career? Gets a screen for flip, turns it down, kick to the left. Mitchell a three! Big time! The win against Notre Dame was a really important game. And to come off of two tough road trips uh, against Miami and, and Virginia to bounce back, I thought we had really good energy. I thought our defense throughout was high level, uh, held them to six threes. If we just finished plays a couple of times, we really could have uh, made it very difficult for them. And we let them get back in the game there and give them credit, give Goodwin you know, credit for what he did. You know, he had a all-time game, but 
I thought our guys stepped up down the stretch. Mark Mitchell hitting the three. Tyrese Proctor stepping off two big free throws um, and getting the stops when necessary in order to win. So proud of our group. A lot to learn from, a lot to build from, but was a necessary step after the Virginia game. Without their captain and second leading scorer in Jeremy Roach, Duke will start five freshmen tonight. That'll be the first time they've done so, and they're eager to make a statement. Well, the freshmen have grown up throughout the year, and they've all gone through, not just them, any freshman that's come through our program, you go through ups and downs and, and periods of growth. And I think for all of our guys, they've gone through those periods. Uh, we don't view them as much now like they are freshmen, even though playing these opponents going into some of these games is their first time experiencing it. And I just think Tyrese has grown tremendously. You know, what he's done over the last month of play, he's gotten better and better. You can see his confidence growing. Mark Mitchell, you know, Mark has been as consistent of a worker as the competitors we've had all year. He hasn't played his best as of late, and he's stuck with the work. He's continued to just keep his head down and, and build, and to see him come out in that second half against Notre Dame, he has two threes, but one of them is the, is the game-clinching three. Uh, so proud of him and what he's done. And then Flip gets hurt the last play against the Virginia game, doesn't practice, and he was a monster all game long. Just he's a really good player. I thought he showed some special heart, not complaining about his ankle. Played through it, played tough, and and uh, 22 points uh, on top of it. Filipowski back it down, spun right by the defender to put it off the window for two. He took Lubin to school. Bounce pass inside, Lively's gonna end that. Well, Derek has just been a game changer on the defensive end, and it starts with the routine that he's developed with Emil Jefferson every single day. They work on his defensive habits, his offensive habits, uh, and he's he's just a defensive force, and he's a guy we need to continue to look for in the offensive end. Uh, you know, he can catch lobs, and his finishing is, is coming along, and then he can still step out and shoot, but what he's done on the defensive end and rebounding in traffic he has grown, you know, just throughout the, the entire course of the season. And Derek, for what he's done the, the last two games coming back off of injury, you know, you go into a really tough environment and tough game at Virginia, you know, gives us, a, you know, that firepower scoring off the bench. He's competed. He's made some really good passes. He has a great feel for the game. Uh, you know, he just needs to get his rhythm, continue to get his rhythm. But I'm proud of him because he's had uh, – disruptions throughout the entire course of the year you know with the start of the season and preseason uh, and then this last stretch with the, the leg injury he's come back with a different mindset and been just a, a really good player for us. Duke 0 for their last four for the field. Whitehead trying to change that bounces it to flip driving in off the window for two. Good playmaking for the Blue Devils Whitehead to Filipowski to go back up seven. We talk about the experience of other teams because before we figure out our game plan, it's important to know who you're playing. And so, Notre Dame, three of those guys were here the last time they beat us at home. And, you know, our guys, they've embraced that. I think we understand we've played teams that are really experienced. Basically, everybody we play is more, more experienced. That, that's, it's gonna, it comes with the territory. But our guys have embraced that. I think it's made us incredibly together and understanding when you're more experienced, there's the lessons learned you carry with you. And so for us, how can we how can we have that same approach without having to learn as many of those lessons? Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. 
through the fastest growing family of independents in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. There's a reason every odyssey is named after the odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. Well, this is the NBA All-Star Weekend, and just want to give a shout-out to our guys. Uh, three starters, which has never been done before for one school, Kyrie, Zion, and Jason. It's always good when you can just say their first name, by the way. You still know who I'm talking about. And those three guys, they've had special seasons. Uh, Jason, good luck to him in the three-point contest. Paulo is in the skills contest. And then Paulo and AJ are in the Rising Stars Challenge. So uh, incredibly proud of those guys, and we'll be following and cheering them on this weekend. It's incredibly special for me to watch Jason and what he's done. Uh, thinking back to the first time I watched him play when he was 15 years old. And now he's arguably one of the best, if not the best player in the world, on the best team in the world. And, uh, you know, the thing I'll say about Jason is he's never changed. He's the same person. Uh, he's a much better player, and he's improved in a lot of different areas. But he loves his craft. He's always had deep belief in himself. And who he is as a person, though, is what I'm most proud of. He's uh, good to everybody he comes across, and uh, I'm cheering them on and hoping they can do something special this year.